fat over the plate. And there he walks Ryerson, and again, that's a reputation of Ryerson keeping Gordon from attacking him all the way. A couple of days off in the midweek. That's a rope right at him. The second baseman, Bertram, never moved. Down swinging. Up the ladder he went that time. Good fastball placement for out number one. 2-2 two -two pitch from Brandon. Taylor rips it to left. And a dive, and no, it's down. Jackson couldn't come up with it. And so the inning will continue. A hard hit ball from Taylor. Runner going here, and it's ball four up high, and the inning continues. Only his third walk. Blew it right by him. Second strikeout of the inning for Joseph Brandon. You see Max Starbuck, one of the leaders on this team. This ball is crushed. And the Panthers are up. That was a laser out of here by Dylan Strickland on the first pitch he saw, his fourth home run of the year. Oh boy, he's having a good year hitting 438. It's his 11th RBI. Looked like a, a fastball, a little, you know, middle part of the plate. He seemed very simple. That ball hit, hit well. And it's 2 nothing. And that ball might have been hit harder. Well, it was. Again, a fastball over the, look, inner third and really short, compact swing by Boynton. And he got the best part of the bat on the ball. And that ball got out of here in a hurry. Exit speed of 114. It was the lineup that they've got here in 23 with more guys that can burn you. Perfect example right here. Boy, the bottom of this lineup is stepping up big for the Panthers. Austin, there's a ground ball right past him. Funny spin. That's a double play ball right there. We'll have to save that for the next inning as Riley Bertram, you know, they're one win away from a national championship. A guy who played in that championship series, Riley Bertram, falls one in or sends one in. It falls for a base hit. Bertram running again, and it's ball four. The throw goes into center field, and Bertram's going to try to take third. The throw in there, oh, man, it popped out of the mitt. If Mize can put the tag on him, he's, he's out, out there. Yeah. yeah, just a little anxious. One, two. Check swing. Yes, he did. Kevin Spivey rings up Ferry. That's strikeout number three. As Brandon. Ground ball to second. Let's see if they can turn it. Out at first. And Griffin Mazur not going to argue. He's walking back. So that is a tough turn. Boy, it took a great throw. And he threw that hanging breaking pitch. Ground ball through the middle. That's a base hit. Ryerson again able to muscle one out to center field. And what's interesting is this ball's hit in the air. That's it well to center field. That's going to carry and get out of here. Boy, I thought he got underneath that, and it carried a long way from Matt Ruiz. And a little bit into the wind. Maybe I, I'm really surprised that ball did carry, but it did. And I think that with a 2-2 count and a line Look shot for a base hit. And Look this, at him. This guy has hit in every game. He's been in a Clemson uniform. Pitch. Line drive, that's a hit. They'll play station to station as Canarella had to hold to make sure the ball got through. He singled his first time up on that fly ball that landed and left, and a quick trigger hit there. Gonna hold Canarella again. Like something to do with him. Tip into the mitt. Good fastball from Brandon to get strikeout number four. Grounded to third. Will they get the turn? Second, not in time for a double play. So get Blackwell the RBI ground out there, the fielder's choice to score Canarella and get the Tigers on the scoreboard. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. He did it. I'm not. <laughs> There's a line drive base hit. 
I mean, this guy's 6'5", 250. So he can, I mean, he. The pitch, line down the line. Fair ball. Rattling around in the corner, and he drops it in the corner. But they're holding the runner. Swing and a miss. Ooh. And you said it. He needed a strikeout, and he got one. Ball four, and that's going to be a problem. And it does score a run. A walk and a wild pitch to boot, and the lead is extended. It's now 5-1. Through the right side, base hit. And the train keeps rolling. Panthers up 6-1 to one now as Max Ryerson delivers an RBI. Hit in the air to center, and Canarella had to slide, but he made the grab. One more time. Tip into the mitt. One, two. Strike three called on the inside corner. Yeah, slider on the inside part of the out on that high fastball that was away. And he that. smokes one through the left side. A one to Cooper Engel. That ball's ripped down the line. That's going to be a problem, and it is. Down into the corner. is going to round third. The throw goes into the cutoff man. And there's an extra base hit for Clemson and an RBI. Ball well today against a tough pitcher. Ground ball, third baseman backs up, throws. Oh, Ooh. And, I, and Eric yeah, Baggage is out. Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll, yeah. He He's got looking it. at that. The third baseman went backwards to take that high hop. And when he did, you knew Taylor had a shot. Yeah, he's he's safe. Oh, yeah. Did a, uh, some momentum. Freshman is in there throwing. Ooh. And Abram swinging 3-0, grounds to first. And the inning is over. Ball four in the dirt. And a leadoff base runner, JoJo Jackson. A long look there from Owen Chuck. There's a ground ball. Nice snag by Bertram, and Blackwell couldn't make the catch. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Ground ball. Blackwell, can they turn this one? Yep. Boy, that was nice. How about a 6-4-3 double play? Jackson with a pretty good lead at third. That's crushed. Back to left. No doubter. One oh two off the bat. And that ball was in on his hands. And that one also traveled 410 feet. That young man is strong. We talked about how physically a 6'5, 250 pounds. It was a fastball that, oh my goodness, he, that ball was off of the plate. And he got his hands inside of the that that's really 5'10, 150. Oh, he got Bertram there. Unbelievable. Really good. 3-2. Came with that and it worked. Strike three called right at the knees. And I think Jones knew it. At a walk and two singles. He did there. Strike three called. Heck of a comeback there for Ty Olinchuk. So if he's beat a little bit, he takes it the other way. And if Hello. he's not beat, he pulls it. <laughs> So there's an off-speed pitch, 77-mile-an-hour <laughs> fastball. He keeps... How they were going to get him into the lineup. Cooper Engel loops one into shallow center. And once again, this part of the order starting something just like they did back in the fourth. And Engel doing what they do. Ball four. And those weren't particularly close. Pitch. Swing and a miss. McAllister comes in to face the lefty, and they certainly can't hemorrhage any more runs. And Rocco Reed starts his top of the eighth. And now Boynton's hit by the pitch, and out like a rocket to first base. Big cut and a miss, and Hoffman comes in and gets a strikeout.
Two two pitch, swing and a miss. Rip to right. Over to get it, the right fielder. He's going to look at it bounce. That's going to be a long single for Canarella. Treadways, 3-2. High drive to right. Backing is Jones. That ball's gone. Well done. Well, Cooper Engel's got the only two extra base hits of the day for Clemson. And he's driven in three of the four runs with him. That's, that's his fourth that's his home run fourth, of the year. And his fourth hit of the day, isn't it? Yes, it is. Wow. Well, we knew he'd get things going. He just handles the bat too well. It's a fastball way actually out of the strike zone. And he's just got the hands that he he can drive that ball out to go. But Swing and a miss. Up the ladder. One, two pitch. Line drive over the shortstop. <laughs> I think Reeves mistimed that one. Either that or that guy just can't jump. <laughs> and he won't. Strike three called and Jones has another punch out. Here comes Jones to the plate. Slow bouncer to first. Easy play for Boynton and the inning is over. One out, nobody on. One hopper right to Blackwell. Uh -oh. He throws high, and look out. That's over Amick's head, and they put the tag on the runner. He's out. Go to the top of the strike zone. Loops one to right. That's going to fall for a base hit. Hit it right over the infield shift, and good for Jackson to get a hit in his last time at the bat today. Hot shot. Right to Bertram. He throws him out. And the inning is over. With such incredible people. Nathan Hall go. gets things started in the bottom of the ninth for Clemson. And he did. Jones. Ball four up and away. He missed with it. 3-2. Line drive. Base hit. They're going to hold that runner at third base. Yep. Cam canarella has got five hits. And this guy can take one deep. And he rips it through the right side for a hit. One runs in. They're going to hold the runner at third. But Hall scores to bring the Tigers within three at 8-5. That's the fourth RBI of the game for Cooper Engel and his fifth hit. Yeah, two guys in the lineup with five hits. Incredible. And they're all different. Station to station and still only one out. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Good slider. Big pitch from Ottinger. Came back on Wednesday. That ball's crushed. Back to center field. And the Tigers walk it off. Are you kidding me? Billy Amick with his first career home run. A walk-off wow. grand slam to cap a five-run ninth, and the Tigers score seven in the last two frames for a walk-off win.